Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be looking at some trash men. What is the thing a guy has done to you and you were just like, it's fine? This hurt because there's so many. There's so many. Oh god, this poor girl. So it's not just one thing, it's like multiple things. This is why I'm scared of getting a boyfriend because like imagine if I'm treated like that. I just allow people to walk all over me. I am a doormat. So the main one that sticks out because it's the most recent one is that my boyfriend blocked me the day I was getting an abortion with his kid. Bear in mind, the only reason that he blocked me was because I was stressed out because the doctors had told me that I was having an ectopic pregnancy. I don't know if I've said that right. Basically, the baby was not in my womb. Could have died. I could have died. Okay, so basically she was getting an abortion because the baby wasn't in her room. She could have died. And the boyfriend blocked her. Why? Why would you block her? Like your girlfriend's literally getting an operation that could save her life, like an abortion. She could die. And you decide to block her. So he's trying to get me to explain everything to him whilst it's all happening. I'm like, I, d I don't know how. I'm going through it. This is not some like n narrative sh I can't. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I hate it whenever you're going through something or something's happening and people keep asking you questions. I feel like I'm not the type of person to answer questions, especially from my mom. I feel like it's different since my mom and dad, but if they ask me too many questions, I get pissed off. Honestly, it's like they just keep asking questions. And then he blocked me. And I let him come back the next day. So he blocked you and you let him come back the next day. I don't know if they're still together. I really hope they're not. But Lord Almighty, he was one toxic man, wasn't he? Um, I had this crazy ex and one night we were fighting and it was late at night and we were driving home back to his house. He was one of those guys that when he would get mad, he'd be like, stop the car and he'd be like, get out of my car. Oh my God. I've never had a friend like that, but I do know horror stories of some of my friends where their parents have been like that or their boyfriends or friends have been like that. If you're driving someone home, you can't stop the car, tell them to get out and then drive off. They're in the middle of nowhere at night, man. Just add, like, you don't know who's out there. There could literally be the boogeyman behind the tree. So this night, he told me to get out of his car. And I was like, okay, fine. So I got out, and I was walking on the sidewalk. And he always comes back. So I was, like, just waiting for him. Oh, so he's one of them guys where he'll drive away and then come back five minutes later after he's killed down. I do have a feeling that he didn't come back. And she was left out alone in the dark. And I could hear someone coming. So I was like, okay, he's coming back. And I was just walking. And, like, I could hear the car coming faster and faster, like, it wasn't slowing down so i was like okay so i looked back and it was him and he literally tried to run me over and i like flew onto the grass and like people came out of their car and tried to help me and it, it was so embarrassing wait so you're laughing about the fact that your ex-boyfriend literally tried to run you over honey that ain't a funny tiktok that's like a literal crime that he committed sweetheart you shouldn't be telling this in tiktok you should be telling this to a judge in court my boyfriend at the time driving his car down the highway he's in the passenger seat yelling at me because blah 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 i was a whore before i dated him whatever i'm a sh I don't know. No offense, but if I were driving the car and someone was speaking, playing loud music, or like talking loudly, even shouting, I'd stop the car and kick them out. I seem like that last boyfriend, don't I? But like, if I'm driving something or doing something, I need to be completely like focused on it. Whenever I'm in the car with my mum, if it's late at night, she tells me not to go on my phone because the brightness distracts her. And while he's doing this, this man grabs me by the throat and slaps me. Wait, so first of all, that's literal assault. You just got assaulted while driving a car. Does he not realize that if he does that, first of all, he can go to jail and get put away for a long time but second of all you're driving a car so like that could have affected you and you could have crashed the car while i'm driving his car down the highway and i'm like ha, it's fine we stayed together did you break up what 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 are you thinking exactly are you stupid yes Please you're not stupid now because you got out of the relationship but in the moment you were stupid you're manipulated sometimes we'll be in situations or do stuff based off like the, the way our mind is and then in a few years we'll look back at it and think what in the world was i thinking it could have been a relationship something you said something your boyfriend said to you that's happened to me quite a few times someone said something to me and then a few years later i think about it i'm like oh my god that was really weird wasn't it i mean at least you got out of a relationship but lord almighty i hope you reported him to the police because like he literally assaulted you all right first of all i don't like going through phones because i feel like when you go through somebody's phone you just look and hurt yourself because you don't like you know you're gonna find something I mean, not necessarily. Look, if I was in a relationship, they would know my phone password. I let them go through my phone all the time. Trust is a main thing in a relationship. If they wouldn't let me go through their phone, that would make me really curious as to why are they cheating? Is there something they're hiding? You know, imagine if they were literally hiding like a criminal past. Imagine you were a serial killer, like not who they say they are. But I mean, if I'm in a relationship, I've got nothing to hide. Don't get me wrong, they might see texts of other guys from like before I met them, which is kind of embarrassing. But you know, if I am in a relationship with you, I absolutely will let you go through my phone. And I 
kind of expect the same thing. I think sometimes you think about stuff and then you overthink and then you just want to like, you know, confirm that you're not crazy. But then in certain situations you realize you're not crazy and like they actually were cheating on you. 30 minutes before we were gonna go on our way to lay his father to rest, I went through his phone and found him cheating on me. Oh god, right, so 30 minutes before he was gonna go to the funeral, she found out that he was cheating. I mean, that could either be really bad or really good because you could actually know it's not good because he's literally just lost his father and now you're probably gonna break up with him. He begged me to stay with him that he couldn't go to the funeral by himself. So, my dumbass went to the funeral with him. And this man cried on my shoulder. And I was there for him. Mind you, my heart was broken because I knew my man wasn't being faithful to me. So it was just like, all right, but... I was stupid. Yep, you were shipping. I hope you're not still together. I mean, look, it's a really bad situation. He's lost his father. He's heartbroken. He really killed two birds with one stone, didn't he? I mean, you know, there's no point in him crying on your shoulder because he knew exactly what he was doing. If you intentionally cheat on somebody, you know, you know what you're doing. You know that it's wrong. And then whenever they get caught doing it, they sit and cry. My time to shine. Let's go. Two days after having our daughter, um, I wanted to break up with him because I'm pretty sure I found out he cheated on me. That's usually what always happened. It usually would always happen. So, like, this is like a thing that's happened quite a few times where they've broken up because he's cheated. Also, keep in mind, this is two days after she's given birth to the daughter. So, she's literally just came back from the hospital, probably still looking pretty pregnant, her body's starting to recover. And she finds out that he's cheated on her. And he slapped me across the face while I was holding her. I cried myself to sleep and I woke up and he was gone with my daughter and took the charger. Wait, whoa, that's a lot. So, he assaulted you? Yet again, these women are getting assaulted. Women, if anyone ever hits you, please go and report it. And guys as well. Assault's a real thing, especially in a relationship. Like, that is domestic violence. So he slapped you and then you cried yourself to sleep and then he stole your daughter with the charger. Was this still in hospital? Can you literally take a baby from a hospital? I thought only the mother could. I tried to leave him because I found out he was trying to get pussy on Craigslist and he shattered my windshield through my car so I was broken for months. I tried to go to the mall one time and he told me he didn't want to go and then I went without him because I didn't care and I was over his shit. He told me if I didn't come back home right away, um, all my work stuff would have been broken, like blow dryer, everything. Oh my god, honestly, I don't even want to hear this story. This is quite heartbreaking, isn't it? This woman's just given birth to a baby, so the boyfriend's child has literally just came out of her. She's carried a baby for like how many months? Eight months or something like that. And now the boy's acting like that. If he's treating you like that right after you've given birth, I would just leave him because that is not a good man to be around. When I was pregnant, he, um, so cool. He used to like choke me and then take my car and go to parties and cheat on me. Use my car to go cheat on me all the time. I almost died in the hospital and when I got back home, I found out on Christmas christmas day he was cheating oh my god that i don't even know that was like an emmerdale episode so he also choked her took her car cheated on her the day that she found out he was cheating was christmas day i really do hope these people get out of these relationships why are people like that like i don't understand how anyone could ever treat somebody like that i can understand look you just had a baby it's stressful you know you're stressed out you're maybe gonna bicker a wee bit but for him to do that to you is completely and utterly unacceptable he got my 16 year old best friend pregnant two weeks after proposing to me. Whoa, that was a short one, but that was feisty. He got your 16-year-old friend pregnant two weeks after he proposed to you. I don't know how old he is, and I don't know the laws in America, but I'm assuming that that's illegal. Hello? Okay, update, I'm back. My mum basically rang me to say I had to go and turn the oven on because apparently we're going to cook a pizza. Talking about stuff cooking, I just went down to cook a pizza and the baby's going to be cooking in the 16-year-old's belly. So y'all going to call me stupid and you're damn right. I was very freaking stupid and I'll be damned if I ever go through this shit again. Yeah, my ex-boyfriend, yeah, he slept with one of my family members the night that I gave birth instead of being at the hospital with me. Oh my god, what? So she's given birth the day that she was given birth. He slept with one of her family members, damn yet again double homicide actually triple homicide or quadruple homicide he cheated with family member the day she was given birth in her bed as well now where are you finding these men because these men are actually horrific i need to figure out where these men are so it means i can know not to go near them and then i took him back and then he cheated on me and cheated on me and cheated on me and cheated on me and cheated on me my dad passed away that night he cheated on me Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's like a Tesco shopping list. It just goes on and on and on. I mean, once a cheater, always a cheater. That's a good old saying. If they're cheating you, they'll continue to do you. Also, if you steal someone's like boyfriend or girlfriend off someone else that are cheating on them with you, just know that they're probably going to do the exact same thing. You know, you lose them the way you gain them. So this man lit my hair on fire. Not once. Twice. Three times. 
Wait, lit my hair on fire. Boom. Wait, sorry, what? He lit your hair on fire? Do you not realize like how hard that is to do unless it was accidental, which I don't think it was? Accidentally doing it, like maybe a candle, but like by the sound of it, he literally went up and lit her hair on fire. I mean, whenever I was younger, I did get a bit of my hair and light it on fire and it literally sizzled up really quickly. Hey, you man, know, I have product in my hair. I'm a woman. Poof. Lit my hair on fire. Twice. Then, grew a dead bird in my hair. Okay, look, that's kind of funny. I won't lie, whenever I was younger, I used to get little insects and worms and flick it at my friends. Not a dead bird, that's a bit extreme, but like a little spider or something like that. I won't lie, it is really funny whenever you tell someone there's like a spider in their hair because they proper freak out. And it sucked there. I had like a bun. Oh yeah. Because I'm like a little mess. And I was like, it's fine. I love nature. Wildlife. Oh, look at the dog. this man. How dare I? Stupid. I mean, do you want to know something by the looks of it? You dropped the man and you know I got a little cute dog. I love how I literally wasn't listening to the fact she had a bird friend in her hair and I was just looking at the dog thinking it's super cute. Anyways, guys, that is where I'm going to leave the video there. These men are absolutely trash and I hope I never find one like that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're a press big red subscribe button and yes, I'll see you all in my next video.